Take off. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Take Off Tuesdays. It's your boy Ariel on the Take Off Show, where we help you, aspiring entrepreneurs and professionals, take off in your professional career and or your entrepreneurial endeavors. Right? We help you build businesses. We give you the information. We give you the strategies. We give you the tips, the tools, and techniques for you to use, for you to implement, in order for you to be the best that you can be. But here's the thing, right? I'm responsible for the information. You're responsible for the execution. Again, I'm responsible for the information. I have to make sure what I am telling you is on point. I have to make sure what I am telling you is fact-based, right? What I'm telling you is based in opinions of those who are successful, right? Because there's a lot of opinions in the world. There's a lot of truths in the world. There's a lot of unsuccessful people in the world and unsuccessful people have opinions too, right? So I want to bring you guys the truths, the facts, the opinions of those who are successful, right? I want to give you guys proven strategies and methods that people who are in positions you want to be in have used so that you can be in the position that they are in, right? And today we're continuing our series, our 100K series, trying to help you get the information so you can get clarity on your goal this year, whether it is 100K, whether it's 200K, whether it's 300K, right? We got to know the numbers. We got to get the data. The data. Why? Because you cannot measure what you don't keep track of, right? You got to be able to make sure you're measuring it so you can keep track of it. Because if you don't know where, where you're at, you don't know where you're going, right? So let's get clear on our financial goals for the year. Let's get clear on how much money we want to make. Let's get clear on what it's going to take for us to get there, right? So we cover how much money you need to make a year, how much money you need to make a month, how much money you need to make a week, how much money you need to make an hour in the last video. So go check that last video if you did not see the 100K series how much to make how to make 100k in a year right we broke it down to the simplest point so that you can use that framework to plug in your numbers to help you get clear on your goal and today we're going to talk about how much products you need to sell in order to make a hundred thousand dollars a year so without further ado if you like the information so far make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button so that we can get the algorithm up and we can get this video to more people okay so 100K for someone with a $20 product. First, ask yourself as an entrepreneur, do you have a product or a service, right? And then you need to figure out what's your price. What is your price? Let's say you are and you have a $20 t-shirt and or a $20 book. Let's get into it. So we got 100,000. Divide it by 20, right? We want to make $100,000 a year. This is our income. And then this 20 is our product. So we want to make $100,000 a year. We have a $20,000 product. How many? products do we need to sell to get that hundred thousand dollars and the answer is five thousand products we need to sell right we need to sell five thousand t-shirts five thousand books five thousand coffee mugs five thousand pants five thousand um entrepreneurial flash cards right we need to sell five thousand dollars worth of product at a $20 price, right? At a $20 price. This is our product price. Let's put that there for more specific clarity. This is our product price. So we wanna sell 5,000 products at a $20 price point, and then we'll have $100,000 in a year. $100,000 in a year if we sell 5,000 products. And I know what you're thinking. 5,000 is a lot, right? 5,000 is a lot of people, right? But here's the thing. There's over 7.8 billion people in the world. Let's just keep it in the United States, right? In the United States, there are probably over 1 million people in your city. 
One million people in your city, city. If you're in a bigger city, right? New York, California, Atlanta, Texas, Chicago, Detroit, right? Arizona, 5,000 people is a small amount of people compared to one million. And that's just in your city. That's just in your city, not your state. That may be one million people in your city, right? Now you even go to state. Let's say you're in the state of New York. Let's say there is 10 million people in New York. Let's just say there's 2 million people in New York. 2 million people in New York. 2 million people in California. 2 million people in Chicago. 2 million people in Florida. 2 million people in Nebraska. 2 million people in New Jersey. That's over 10 million people right there and that's not even a quarter of the states. It's 50 states. So don't get caught up in 5,000 thinking you can't sell 5,000. You can sell 5,000. You probably have more than 5,000 friends on Instagram. You probably have more than 5,000 friends on social media, right? On Facebook. You probably have more than 5,000 people on YouTube, right? On Google at one time, at one point in time of the day, there's a ton of people on the internet. So don't get caught up thinking you can't sell 5,000 in a year. That's a year. That's a year. That is not one day. Even if it is one day, still, you can sell, still sell 5,000 people, five, sell to 5,000 people in one day. But this is for the year. This is a 12 month period, right? So we're going to break it down even more, okay? So now we're going to talk about this 5,000. We're going to break it down into months. How much do you need to sell per month? We know in a year, in one year, we need to sell 5,000, right? But now let's break it down. So let's use 5,000. Because this is what we know for the year. Sell for year 5,000. Now, how much is that per month? Divide that by 12, right? How much is that per month? We got 417. 417 people. There's probably 417 people in your child's school. There's probably 417 people who go to your grocery store, right? 417 people, that's per month. That's per month, per month. So we wanna sell for the year. We got 12 months in a year. This is 417, you need to sell 417 products in a month, right? Now let's break it down one more time in two weeks. In two weeks, we're gonna divide by four, right? I'm gonna say 417 per month. We're gonna divide this by four, right? Be mindful that some months have five weeks in them, right? So that is 104, 104. You need to sell to 104 people. This is week, this is month, right? You need to sell 417 a month divided by four weeks equal 104 per week. You can inbox 100 people on your Instagram every week. You can use your direct messages to sell to 104 people per week. Now, remember the law of averages. If you want to sell 104 per week, you're probably going to have to sell to a thousand people per week, right? Because 900 are gonna reject you, 900 are gonna say no, maybe, right? That's just the law of averages, they're just 10%. Let's say this week, 15% people got uh, bought your stuff or 30% of the people bought your stuff, right? You never know. So you need to sell 104 items per week, right? And you can even break this down per day. You can even break this down per day. If you wanna do per day, you go 104 divided by five, right? Because you're taking two days off, taking two days off. So you need to sell about 21 products, 21 products per day, per day, 21 t-shirts, 21 books, 21 flashcards, 21 pairs of pants, 21 <clears throat> dumbbells, whatever it is you created, that's your product you need to sell, right? This is the week. This is the days. This is the amount per day. Amount per 
day. And that's if you work five days, right? Imagine if you work six days. Imagine if you work seven days. You sell seven days worth of products. So, I mean, you can sell every day if you wanted to, right? So the choice is yours. Now, this is the framework, okay? This is the framework. And this is for a $20 product. That's just for a $20 product. You can punch in the numbers, do a $50 product. You can punch in the numbers and do a $1,000 product. You can punch in the numbers and do a $100 product. It's all up to you. Your product, your services, your price is going to be dependent on what you want to sell it for. So remember, you got to put these numbers in for your specific business, for your per specific uh, service, right? For your specific product. Punch these numbers in. Get your uh, income goals clear for the year so you can have this written out so you can focus on this. You can save it as your screensaver. You can hang it up in your room. You can put it in your kitchen, wherever you will see it daily and start to visualize yourself making this amount of money. What would, you, what would your family do if you were making $100,000 a year? How would that make you feel, right? How would that make you think about yourself? What will others think about you? What could you do with $100,000 a year? Then imagine you took it up to 200. Then imagine you took it up to 300. Then imagine you took it to a million, 10 million, 100 million. All that is up to you, but you got to visualize, right? Visualize, visualize, visualize. You got to believe in yourself before you can achieve it. Why? Because the physical manifestation is the last part. The physical manifestation is the last part, okay? You got to believe in order to achieve. Believe first, think first, visualize first, talk about it first, right? And then as you start to talk about it, as you start to believe it, as you start to work towards it, you start to attract it. And the next thing you know, you're making $100,000 a year. And you're like, man, this ain't enough. I need $200,000 a year. I need $300,000 a year. And then you skyrocket and you take off. But listen, only 10% of the people on the planet make $100,000 a year. In America, only 10% of the people make $100,000 a year. So you want to take yourself to the next tax bracket? Do you want to take yourself to the next level? Do you want to be the best that you can be? Then start getting clear and specific on your goals. Thank you for watching. I totally appreciate it. And remember, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate the information in this video, it helps the algorithm. And I totally appreciate all your support. Make sure you go to www rielmerch.com to get your book, The Student Success Mindset by yours truly. Also, we have shirts on there. We got merch. We coming out with different merch lines. So some of the t-shirts on there will be different in a couple months. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you would like me to come speak at your school, come speak at your company, come speak at your organization. I teach personal and professional development. So you can uh, email me at info at reelinspires.com if you like what you see in the video. I would like to come to your organization. I would like to come to your school and drop juice and drop information and help build better employees, build better leaders, build better students. That's what it's all about. Information changes situations. It's your boy, Ariel. Peace.